We're following a developing story out of Iraq where the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad is urging American citizens not to approach the embassy compound following violent protests. Thousands of demonstrators angry about recent U.S. airstrikes gathered outside the compound. CBS's Naomi Rushum has the latest. Small explosions could be heard outside the U.S. Embassy in Iraq Tuesday, where thousands of angry protesters chanted death to America. Dozens broke into a reception area outside the compound, where they set fires and threw projectiles. Embassy guards hit back with stun grenades and tear gas, while U.S. troops inside the compound were on lockdown. CBS News has learned the ambassador was not inside the embassy and no personnel were evacuated. The unrest follows deadly U.S. airstrikes on Iran-backed militias in Iraq this week that killed at least 25 fighters. The Pentagon says those strikes were retaliation for a rocket attack which killed a U.S. contractor in Iraq. The violence represents a new escalation in the proxy war between the U.S. and Iran playing out in the Middle East. In a tweet this morning, President Trump blamed Iran for the embassy attack and said they will be held fully responsible. And a U.S. official tells CBS News that additional American troops already in Iraq are being sent to help secure the embassy. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.